Gentlemen. Your cousin's enthusiasm is most impressive. And this journey is his long-awaited chance to prove his worth. He has a demanding father. More likely, he's just happy to be free of this hornet's nest. I definitely know I am. That's certain. Stations, lads! Wear and cut and ready her to wear! Lively now! Charming welcoming committee. Gentlemen, I am Constantine of House Orsay, your new governor. I have no idea what sort of ceremony you've prepared for my arrival, but I would gladly skip it, so... <laughs> indeed, indeed, these are rather peculiar customs. I, I see, I see, it seems you were quite intent on serving me a drink. Hello? Cat got your tongue, gentlemen? Would it be those annoying beaks? <laughs> I am truly sorry these doctors should have shown a greater measure of courtesy. Thank you, dear doctors. Move along, go and trouble the noughts. Pay no attention to them. Instead, just drink. The long voyages at sea require the appropriate treatment as soon as we land. According to our scientists, without fortifiers, you might catch your death, and that would be quite regrettable. I should have chosen death. This concoction is liquid torture. I would think that they would have warned you on the ship. Not in the slightest. And you must be Lady Morange, my predecessor. You are correct. There you are! To your health. Aha! You got your dose of bile too. Allow me to present to you Lady Morange, and to you, my dear lady, my most trusted cousin. Where is the captain? He seems to be preoccupied with some sort of admiral. Indeed. Then I will have to thank him later for this most marvelous voyage. Excellency, lead me to the palace, I beg you. And, whenever possible, go by way of all the intriguing alleyways. I am dying with impatience to discover this new city. My city! Uh, your Excellence, we must wait for our escort. No need. 
I've been scullied. How so? My admiral laid me off. My cousin was nonetheless delighted with your services. I hope there was no misunderstanding. None, I'm sure of it. She just ordered me to give you any assistance you might need. This request doesn't seem to please you. Don't take offense, but it's not pleasant for a captain to abandon his ship. In any case, here I am at your service for a while. Desarde, can I do anything for you? You seem to be mad at me for some reason. Do you still resent the fact that I called your ship a boat? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. Nobility makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry if I was rude. I can't blame you. Most nobles are tiresome. I hope that I've managed to change this poor first impression of me. You have? I was wrong about you. You are different. I should have realized that sooner. I hope you can forgive my manners. It was foolish of me. Did you want anything else? How did you become a Nort? As you may have guessed, I am sea-given. I was given to the Norts when I was a little child, for a reason I ignore. I think I was originally from the Congregation, but I have no memory of my family. I took my first steps on the deck of a ship. That's all I can remember. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. I've been delivered a message. The commander succeeded in spite of my failures to deliver our merchandise here. He wants me to go and find the local quartermaster and then I follow his instructions. Are your boots worn through? Is Did they manage to load their cog on the ship? If the Admiral learns about this, I'm liable to be given permanent assurance. Come closer, good people. Attention, soldier. Let me pass. I must see the chief of your village. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever could be so funny. Now, who would you be to seek an audience with the governor? I am Siora, daughter of Bladnid. My mother is Amal, the chief of our clan. I am here as an emissary of my people, and I must see your chief, your governor. So you are a princess, then? A what? Let her pass! Your Majesty, I shall present you to the Governor. Come. Princess, Majesty, you are most confusing. But thank you for your help.
on all Manawi. Do you need something? The first time you saw me, did you really think I was a native? Aside from the way you dress, you resemble a native. I have never seen an Onol Manawi amongst the Renagse before. Is it so surprising that I made this mistake? No, I understand. And I hope that this singular appearance makes me more attractive to you. Perhaps if your difference wasn't merely physical, but your heart is evidently the heart of a Renagse. Anything else? I've never heard you talk about your father. Who was he? He was the Donegad of our clan. He died many cycles ago, but this memory is still painful. So we usually avoid the subject. What happened to him? He was killed as he tried to escape the lions who wanted to capture him. My mother never really recovered from it. This is one of the reasons why she decided to go to war. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Dear cousin, what is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, daughter of Bladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Mal, the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, Princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the Governors of the Bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing, but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire, a time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the Queen, dear cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, dear cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Thank you. 
Sade, do you have a moment? Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas, I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate it if, as you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, one more thing. Do you remember that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? Uh, bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island, and your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island looking for him, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult, but this is the price of wisdom, Desade. Why are you dressed like this? Hello. I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me? My chief sent me to trade some items with your village, but there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod Irony, the Ironbacks, the warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Very well, stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adlo Redar on Olmenawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. Well, I'll be damned, it's Captain Kurt. Manfred! Still a quartermaster? Always, as you can see. What can I do for you? I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. 
And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? I was told you received the merchandise you were expecting from Serene. Indeed. We were able to alter the ship's manifest and slip it on board, despite our captain's lack of action. Alas, we had a great deal to do before our departure. Taking care of a few crates wasn't our priority. I understand. But the commander doesn't see it that way. He's taken it poorly. How can I help him set things straight, then? By helping him accomplish the new mission that I gave him. Our merchandise has been unloaded into one of those dock storehouses. They're well guarded. A little less at night, but in spite of that, we weren't able to get them back. Since these crates are registered in the ship's manifest, make an official request. The modification of the manifest might have fooled a quartermaster, but it won't fool the port authority. We'd have too many details to explain to them, and our commander would not like that. What? Is he waiting for us to bring them to him, then? No. Of course not. But Kurt needs to find the right storehouse, as well as a discreet way to get in. And he must also mark the crates that belong to us. Why is that? They're already marked with an inscription. Most of the men are illiterate. A colored mark will stick out for them to find, but they need to be quick about it. They won't have the time to decipher a name. I see. Well, let's see what we're able to do. Is there anything else? No, thank you. How are we to know in which warehouse we'll find this damn cargo? I'm afraid we're going to have to take a look at all of them. Good day, my lord. Desardé. I'm the emissary of the congregation on Tierfredi. And cousin to the governor. I know exactly who you are. Enchanted. I am Admiral Cabral. One of my noughts accompanies you from time to time, doesn't he? He must still be angry I've set him ashore. But I doubt that you've come here to discuss affectations. What can I do for you? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral.
I need a bit of practice. I need a bit of practice. I need a bit of practice. Greenblood, there's something I would like to talk to you about. I'm listening. I recruited a young man for the Guard a few months ago. Talented. Very talented. And honorable. I've been tracking his progress, and I learned that he's been sent to the barracks in New Serene. I would like you to meet him so that you can give me your opinion. My opinion? On what? Ever since our departure from Serene, I've spent nearly every second at your side. But I have clear standing orders to assure the protection of Constantine. And I don't know his guards. Not well, in any case. I see. You've been thinking this recruit might be a suitable personal guard? Precisely. And your opinion has weight. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? But of course, let's go. Raina must be with the other recruits in the barracks. I had thought you a lone wolf with only our good friend in your pack. But I was mistaken. I am full of surprises, pretty she-wolf.
It's not possible just now. Locked. I don't have the key. Here are the crates we've been looking for. It appears that one of them has been broken. It's full of weapons. That doesn't seem right. It is our clients that supply us weapons on Tierfredi. You didn't know what was in the crates? No. I don't concern myself with the commander's business. I should take a look into this. I have some friends here that must know what this is all about. Let me know what you discover. Now, let's mark these crates and get going. need a bit of practice. No, these aren't the right crates. No, these aren't the right crates. No, these aren't the right crates.
Closer, good people. The cure and wine from the post. One armor that fits you like a glove. We'll make it for you. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service. I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene, just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, sh should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, first class, Blue Silver Regiment, 8th Company, Your Excellency. The Blue Silver Regiment is made up of men attributed to serve the Congregation of Merchants. I'm one of them, and the 8th Company was sent to Tier for D with two other companies. Anything else, Excellency? What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? That will be all. At ease, soldiers. May we be of service? That will be all. At ease, soldiers. Hello, Your Excellency. We have found a way into the storehouse and we have marked all of the crates. Perfect. I shall ask my men to follow the same path. One of the crates was damaged. I was quite surprised by what I found in it. Really? To be honest with you, the commander never told me what was in them. I received the order to deliver them as soon as Kurt accomplished his mission without any further instructions. For what it's worth, I thank you for your help. And I hope you can accept this modest token for everything you've done. If you have another moment, Your Excellency, I would like to ask you for your help. We have a serious problem that I did not hear of until recently. A problem that concerns you closely. I'm listening. I was told that some of our soldiers have been extorting large sums of money from the town merchants under the pretext of financing their protection. Are you telling me that the Guard is extorting merchants in our city? Indeed. Some merchants have been assaulted, and one of them has even been found dead. I hope you don't intend to conceal this information. If my cousin learns of this... Oh no, certainly not, Your Excellency. We intend to punish the guilty party with the greatest severity. But the merchants refuse to give us the slightest testimony. The guard frightens them, and rightly so. We won't be able to put a stop to these crimes without outside help. <sighs> Count on me. I'll take care of it. I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rayner. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rayner? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. He was found, drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least now you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? No, thank you.
Greetings. You look like someone who would know how to use a blade. If you're looking for the best steel, you're in the right place. Weapons, armors, ammunition, I have it all. And if you have a special request, my associates will be glad to make it for you. I'm currently investigating an extortion case involving the guard. Are you one of the merchants who has been threatened? Uh, no, not at all. I've never heard of this business. Someone must have lied to you. Really? Come on. If you want these guards to be arrested, you need to talk to me. I mean no offense, but you won't be able to do anything. And snitching don't end well. I want to hold on to my business and my life. How about some new armor, Your Excellency? I was told that someone found a merchant's body. Did you know him? Of course. The town isn't that big. We all know each other here. Poor Reno. We found his body on the street by the port. He was beaten to death. One of his associates half-heartedly took over the shop. Have the culprits been found? No. Listen. Nobody wants to talk about this. We don't want any trouble. It's been months since it happened. An investigation's not gonna bring him back. You are obviously a victim of these bandits. One of your people is dead. Yet you refuse to help me. Why? It's precisely because one of our people is dead. Now, you can either buy something or let me get back to work. Because I am not gonna say one more word about this case. The, the law of silence is at work. Nobody saw anything, Blades, nobody knows armor, anything. Locks, custom pieces, made to Come closer, good people. The cure and wine from the continent. Sire, I am pleased to welcome you to the best wine and spirit shop in Tier D. If you're looking for something to accompany a fine meal, or for a gift for someone, You've come to the right place. Thank you, but I'm not here for that. I'm conducting an investigation. Some merchants are being extorted by members of the Guard. Uh, are you sure? It's probably just a nasty rumor. Someone must have misinformed you. Come now. I'm the Legate of the Congregation. If Guards threaten you, I could arrange protection for you. Threats? No. I assure you. I was told a merchant had been found dead. Really? Oh, I didn't know. No one told me about that. What was his name? Come on, don't take me for a fool. You know very well who I'm talking about. I don't, really? I don't. So, what sort of wine would you like to pair your food with? You need something strong when eating game? You're obviously terrified. Don't you think it's better to tell me everything? Listen. I've no desire to get into trouble. Please leave me. But if you don't help me, you will never be rid of these guards. I told you, I don't know what you're talking about. Are your boots worn through? Is your hat? Excellency, welcome back to my modest shop. It is an immense honor for me to be of service to such noble clientele. What might I do for you? I'm conducting an investigation. Apparently, some merchants are being extorted by some members of the Guard. Really? That's... that's terrible, Your Excellency. As Legate, it is my duty to ensure the safety and well-being of the citizens of our town. So please, if you have any information... I... I don't know anything. Really. I have only been here for a few months. My partner, who ran the shop before me, had a very bad encounter. And you fear the same thing happening to you? This is what happens around here. So I prefer to hold my tongue and do what is expected of me. If you denounce them, we could end this and charge these men for their crime. I can't take that risk. There are so many of them. Also, I would not be able to name them. Now, 
I would like to get back to my work. What we need is the money to return. Do you understand? We are very... monitored. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? I have a plan to stop the culprits, but I'm going to need your help. The next time one of these guards comes to squeeze money out of you, you must ask for more time. The man will threaten you, of course, and he will certainly bring his accomplices. But when they come back in full force to make you pay for your audacity, we will be there to apprehend them. And if your plan fails, I'll end up like Renault. You don't understand. Are you not tired of giving them your share of the profits? And do you not want to avenge your partner? He was my friend. And his death really upset me. But I don't want to end up like him. Sorry, Your Excellency. And what if I gave you money to pay for it? If the plan fails, you only have to give them that money. They have no interest in getting rid of those who earn them so much. You are not wrong. Very well. I will do what you ask of me. But for God's sake, when they threaten me, intervene right away. Fear not. We will not let them harm you. When should they be returning? It's hard to predict. Given their habits, I would say... in two days, maybe? Perfect. I will not fail you. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Sir, good people. Minister, Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. 
I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant to set up shop in our city. Indeed. I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case... Here's the patent that will allow your protégé to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy, the other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? What exactly is your role here? I am tasked with advising Governor Constantine about business matters. And I make sure that all business contracts are established properly and are favorable to us. I am responsible for setting taxes on goods based on their value, among other things. It is an exciting job that requires the utmost care. Would you like anything else? That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency.